That's our security. All right, let the people know who we got on SN TV, man. Man, y'all already know who the fuck it is, man. If you don't know, it's your boy, Walk the Motherfucking Truth, man. Yeah. Where we at right now? Oh, man, we in fucking Inglewood, man. Southside Chicago. The rat. Yeah. Shit, man. I know you've been doing, you've been going hard, you know what I'm saying, with the music. I know you just recently got out or whatever, man, so we got a lot to talk about, bro. But first and foremost, man, let the people know, bro, what what do what does LMC mean, man? LMC, you know, initially, you know, Lil Mo City, you feel me? It's my bro incarcerated. We ain't gonna speak on too much of that, but it's my motherfucking brother, though. My shit, though, LM, I'm a little more, I'm a little more crazy. Feel me? That's what that shit mean to me. But for the masses, LMC, you know, that's little more city. Yeah. Yeah, man. So in a couple of our past conversations, Joe, you know what I'm saying? You was you was telling me, you know what I'm saying? You had you had did a little time or whatever. You had you had got locked up and shit, and you was telling me you ran into a lot of people. Speak on that. I shit, I ran into down there everybody. Any motherfucker that was a gang chief, anybody that was somebody, niggas putting it on phone now. Don't even know them. I was in that bitch with Shay. Feel me? I was in that bitch with old Dilly came through that bitch. I had it for the Travelers, Five Star Tree Line. Yeah. Everybody, bro. Any motherfucker that was somebody, I, I was in that bitch with him. Feel Yeah. A lot of niggas. Shit, what you was on in there? You was in there going crazy or what? I was, I ain't gonna stop. I was cool. Yeah. I'm a player. Yeah. You feel me? I ain't never started shit in my life, but I finished a lot of shit, though. Real yeah. shit. I ain't never started nothing, bro. I was cool with playing cards, eating noodles, burritos, you feel me? Working out. Some slight. You know what I'm saying? LMC, y'all not affiliated with nothing? Stone. Yeah, fucking Black Peace Stone Rangers. Yes, sir. That's up, man. Black Stone, man. For real. You feel me? Yeah. Still moving, though. Under them signs and symbols. Yeah. <laughs> Let's talk about, man, this music shit a little bit, too, man. Hey. You know what I'm saying? I just seen your recent video, man. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got to pop it, man. You know, what gave you, the, what inspired you, man? What gave you the idea to, to shoot the video like that? Really, to be honest, though, it was on uh, my bro birthday, Lil Mo and shit, so bro them popped out, and I'm like, shit, I gotta shoot a motherfucking video, so I really came over with that shit a day before the video. I went in the studio, recorded that shit, dropped that shit, went crazy, so I did the motherfucking big drip and the um, welcome to the party. Welcome to LMC Party Freestyle. I did that shit. I went, I cooked that shit up in like an hour. Shot the video the next day. Oh, bro, that was gonna have strippers and all that shit. And you know, it's bro birthday. I had to turn up one time. You feel me? That's a, all right. Snitching, getting I got out, you. and thinking it's cool. Niggas right back around them. All that type of shit. Yeah, you man. Six nine in the city playing games. Playing games with Chicago, knowing we really like that. And yeah. Like coming around with 15 securities. Who you talking about, gang? 6 9 bitch. Uh, <laughs> you know yeah, man. His ass was in the city today acting it's real crazy. Acting playing stupid. Yeah. So it really happened to you. With, with with 15 FBI agents. That shit ain't. I, I wish I was in that motherfucker, though. Yeah. That's ain't, that ain't shit but a battery. Yeah. I still would have slapped his ass. <laughs> oh, like, I'm talking about. If we, if we in the county, bro, we walk the court, and I see a nigga that I'm looking for, you think I care about going to say I'm going to slap your ass. What the fuck yeah. is that? What, you going to give me a money say yeah. You going to do a battery? You know how much time you get for a battery? Stop yeah. it, bro. Knock it the fuck off. Y'all niggas acting like y'all really gangsters. Y'all really savages. All that, bro. Y'all scared to catch a battery? Knock it the fuck off, bro. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, man. Yeah, How you feel about you know what I'm saying? Other motherfuckers linking up with him and shit. Exactly. Motherfuckers like six nine. Everybody yeah, know them told. Condoning police snitching activities. You are what they are. Period. Ain't no way around it. You condone their lifestyle. That mean you with what they with. You feel? Yeah. I ain't gonna be around no niggas that's doing something that I'm not doing. Real with shit. Your ass smoke crack. I don't smoke crap. I'm not gonna be around you, bro. Is you fucking crazy? Stop it, bro. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. Not the truth. You can ask me anything, bro. Yeah. So it's a lot of motherfuckers out here that be getting in videos, going crazy with the guns, but outside of the camera, bro, that's not really who they is. You know what I'm saying? They not living what they rapping about. 
You see what I'm saying? So I noticed you, you know what I'm saying? You dropped your shit, you talking about opening the motherfucking shit up like a stadium. You know what I'm saying? Like shit, what wop on is wop about that shit he be rapping about or what, though? I'm gonna keep it real. Let the bro. people know. I ain't never put a gun in my video, but them bitches around. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't promote violence, but we with the violence, though. Yeah. Never. You feel me? So, a stadium, hell yeah, you play games and you run up. I'm on, I'm not, I'm on defense, bro. I'm not on offense. I'm not looking for no niggas. Ain't no nigga never did nothing to me. Ain't no nigga never did nothing to me or my niggas, except told. Other than that, niggas ain't never did shit to me. Check my background, walk the truth. Niggas could Google me. Check my history, nigga. 63rd and Bishop, nigga. Check our history. A nigga never did nothing to me, nigga. Period. None of us. So, I ain't on offense. I ain't looking for no nigga. I'm on defense. So, yeah. if a nigga play, hell yeah, it's going to happen to me. Period. Yeah. I don't promote violence. I'm going to protect myself at all costs. You got Okay, yeah. talk to me. Shit, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know. So a motherfucker that ain't never, ain't never been locked up, you know, they would know. And it's a question that all the fans always ask because it's a lot of people that speak on it, but they don't really clarify or go into detail, you know what I'm saying, dealing with the situation. It's a lot of motherfuckers that claim shit on the streets, bro, but when they get locked up, go to the county and shit like that, you know, they pretty much slide them banners off, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, did you see any of that? When you was locked up? Damn, bro, niggas coming at bitch, they was affiliated and they not affiliated. Like me, I was facing 45 years of life, bro. Feel first degree murder, bro. When in that bitch was on the news, bro. Real life activities, bro. I ain't gonna get into all that. But I came in that bitch on the news, steal my ground, you feel me? I know niggas that was GDs, BDs, Stones, Foes, all type of shit, Vice Lords, and niggas get in that bitch and they acting wild, carrying guns, shooting niggas, and you get in that bitch, and you not even on count, but little do they know, it's always somebody that know you, period, so, I just seen niggas that said they want nothing, and come out the cell, and see a nigga, and like, oh, that's folks, ooh, ooh, what up, G, ooh, ooh, I thought you, they said you want, yeah, that's one of the, the guys, one of the folks, he ain't claiming shit. And they put that shit in their pocket because it's guns on the streets, bro. Ain't no guns in jail, bro. No ass gotta know how to fight. Knuckle up. Nigga, yeah. take something from you. Food, whatever. Yeah. You feel me? Yeah. It's knives in that bitch. The king, niggas in that killing motherfuckers, bro. I seen it happen. Yeah. Literally. On them decks, that bitch go up, bro. No ass is dying that bitch. I was on the deck, nigga. It was all, everybody had murders, bro. Everybody. That's 40 people in for you. You feel me? You can't put that. Like the difference between our city and these want. niggas cities, if we got the most violent city, so imagine our I'm jail, saying, you like get locked up, bro, where the fuck you think you go? Anybody that catch a case in Chicago, guess where they go? Cook County. You catch a case in Chicago, you going to Cook County. So any nigga you see on the news that just killed somebody, guess where he at? He in a fucking county. So we in a jail, we in the most violent jail with the most vicious criminals. Period, bro. You can't survive that shit, bro. It's nice in the world. In that bitch. Say, bro. Stop it, bro. You ain't like that. Your ass gonna fall. I just seen niggas that they killed people and shot people. Get in that bitch and got slapped. Yeah. yeah. Shit like that, bro. Yeah, that man. That shit crazy, bro. That shit crazy. What you think about uh, what's going on, man, with all the shorties getting killed and shit like that, bro? To be honest, bro. Talking about the kids. Or just yeah, the kids, in innocent kids. Like, bro, we come from an era of the niggas that raised me on oh, 63rd yeah. edition, bro. Yeah, my, my bros, my big bros. We ain't never, we wasn't shooting at no houses, no cars, none of that shit, bro. Like, niggas doing drive-bys, bro. So it's like, what you think you expect? You put an adolescent with a fucking gun that ain't never been on a hit. And he got a fucking 30 shot and he doing a fucking drive by What you think gonna happen? He gonna shoot a kid, an innocent motherfucker that don't got nothing to do with it. Like, on some real shit. If you really on some shit, bro, you supposed to bell out the car, slide through a nigga block and do whatever you gonna do. Yeah. You doing a fucking drive by that's a 30 shot. That bitch could go anywhere. So, come on, man. Niggas yeah. is really playing, bro. Like, if you really was like that. And you really was about what you was saying or what you was doing, go ass to pull up and hop out the car and walk through a nigga's block. What the fuck is you doing a drive back? Come on, man. Get the fuck out of here. Real shit. Half a block away. Half court shooting. 
It's real shit. Miscellaneous blick. Yeah. It's also a lot of speculation in the street, man. Um, dealing with the police, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of motherfuckers say that they've been set up by the police. A lot of motherfuckers say that the police the one bringing the drugs and the guns and shit in, bro. You know what I'm saying? I agree. I, I, how you feel about that, bro? I think that shit started with when niggas started turning in guns. Me, personally, I was never with that shit. That, I think that started the whole snitching shit. You catch a nigga, he turn, he get a police a gun, they let him go. I don't trust the police. You a police. Why would I turn you anything? I'm thinking like you might lock me up. So when they start doing that, that made niggas feel like, okay, I give you a gun, let me go. What happened when they don't want the gun? Oh, I'm going to give you this house, this bitch rolling, making money. Buddy no more. They got guns and cracking that bitch. They telling on them. So it's like, I can't give you, okay, I know about this case then. I feel like that shit opened the door for snitching. And a lot of niggas weren't built for this shit. Y'all shouldn't have jumped out the fucking porch. Y'all should have stayed in school or worked the fucking job, bro. Real shit. Real. Real shit, bro. Real shit. Man, what shit, what, you know, let the people know, man. Hey, what could we expect from you that's new that's coming out, bro? Y'all can expect Roll the Wop Season 2. That shit gonna be on YouTube behind the scenes. Footage of uh, how nigga coming, how nigga living. The whole mixtape. I dropped Wop Season, the first edition. I'm coming with Wop Season 2. I already finished Wop Season 3, so I'm on niggas' head. Like, yeah. For real, bro. I really know how to rap, bro. Like, but I'm not a rapper, though. You feel me? I know how to rap. But I'm not a rapper, bro. I'm the same nigga that's in the fucking song. The difference between me and y'all niggas, y'all a whole different person. When y'all come to the studio, when y'all get in the booth, y'all hop out, y'all a whole another person. Ain't no image with me, bro. Ain't no gimmick. What you see is what you get, nigga. The same clothes that I wear is the same clothes I wear every day, bro. When I wake up, I could might shoot a video the same day, bro. I'm the same nigga that's in the song. Ain't no difference. Wow. That's really me, bro. That's really my name. That's been my name my whole life. And on some real shit, niggas really finna have to change their fucking name. Niggas got 24 hours to change their name. Start with Gucci. You feel me? My real name. My grandma called me Wop. That's been my name my whole life. Yeah, you getting niggas. niggas say you getting niggas 24 hours. Ever since 09, bro. Yeah. Niggas calling him Wop. Who Wop? Now I got out of jail, my homie Fry told me like, bro, nigga, everybody stealing your name, bro. Everybody name Wop. Nigga, I'm the real Wop. Wop the truth, nigga. That's my real name. My grandma called me that. Nigga, my uncle gave me that. Yeah. My whole life, nigga. My life. How do you feel about what's going on now and the clicking up? You got Stones, GDs, you know what I'm saying? BDs clicked up in one, in, in, in one click, one set, or whatever you want to call it. How do you feel about honest, that? Bro, I got out. 2006. I never understood that shit. Everybody, the chief keep ever. Everybody was saying ops and shit. I'm looking like how every click I look in, I did a freestyle. The, um, yo, Gotti shit. Yeah. Um, every click I look in, it got a different game in it. Everybody fucking with the ops. How the fuck niggas ops? We grew up where if you in a different game, I'm in this game. That's the opposition. But now they clicking up. It's like. Yeah, niggas, but we always knew like niggas was shit. set tripping. Like if you off this block, you could be whatever you want to be. Is you off the block with them? So it's like I don't feel no way about it. But I'm saying don't try to act like it is what it is when everybody fucking with me. I never, I never care what a nigga is. So I'm not against any gang. I don't give a fuck what you is. I care about who you is as a person, bro. Cause that shit. Don't make who you is. You was who you was when you got here. And that's how I draw. So it's like, but you know, it's still signs and symbols like what you say out your mouth, you're going to be accountable for. Yeah. How you move it, you're going to move accordingly. Yeah. Your ass is going to get dealt with. Yeah. So, man, what, what's like, what's some of the most fucked up situations you ever been in, bro? Wild as shit, bro. Or like, some, what's some of the wildest shit you ever seen? In the streets. All the shit I ever seen in the streets, bro, like, me being a shorty, like, five years old, Englewood, I come outside early in the morning, I see a nigga laid out dead. I'm in the street, bro, like, dead, like, that shit was treacherous to me, bro, like, a real dead body at five years old, bro, I swear to God, that shit fucked my head up. Yeah. I was never the same, bro, ever since. Like, I seen the nigga and I know he dead, bro. Blood leaking, he gone, bro. 
Yeah. Shit did something to me, bro. I was never normal ever since then. Yeah, man. So you would you say would you say uh trauma got a lot to do with, you know what I'm saying, what's going yeah, on out man, here in the I'm, streets? I'm fucking traumatized. PTSD, all that shit, bro. Seeing dead bodies, seeing your niggas get killed, brains hanging out, blood, that shit not normal, bro. Come on, man. Us seeing the shit we seeing, nigga, have, coming to the city, got to carry guns, watch these cars, watch the lights, who telling you, you don't trust these bitches, you don't trust niggas, the police, the stick up, man. Bro, who the fuck wanna go through that shit every day, nigga? We was going in grocery stores, we going in barbershops, nigga. Everywhere niggas go, nigga moving it like that. So that shit not bro. Who the fuck wanna look over their shoulder every minute, every second of the day, nigga? That's what's going on in Chicago. It's not like any other city. So y'all wanna compare it. Stop fucking comparing it. I'm not saying we the most gangster. None of that shit, but the shit that we doing is not happening, bro. Ain't no niggas sliding through no niggas' blocks every day looking for them, bro. That shit not going on, nigga. Niggas blocks away from each other. You sliding on this block, you slide on that block. That shit not going on where you looking for a nigga, bro. That shit, niggas got whole neighborhoods. They away from people. We live, it could be a GD on this block, 63rd. It could be a, a GD on 64th, bro. This alley is they alley. Come on, bro. Ain't no shit going on like that in no other city, bro. Yeah, shit. Come on, yeah, it reinforced the whole culture. In Chicago, y'all niggas really got to stop dick riding other niggas in other cities, bro. When them niggas come in, y'all happy to take pictures with them niggas. Niggas really be groupies, bro. Like, other niggas come in from other cities that's bigger than y'all, bro. Y'all want to be in a videos, want to take pictures with them. You look on Instagram. Them niggas don't even post y'all, bro. Y'all posting they shit, and they follow everything we do. Ops, dots, catch a nigga lacking. All that shit is Chicago shit, bro. Y'all let niggas eat off us, and y'all ain't even get no fucking money. In our city, Charge niggas for everything, bro. That shit ain't like Atlanta. The DJs charge niggas for hosting on mixtapes. That shit not real, bro. Cause back then, you supposed to drop the hottest fucking mixtape. Whoever on that motherfucking mixtape that's hot, you gonna put them on there. Y'all charging a hundred dollars for a slot. You don't give a fuck with this nigga trash, bro. That's not real, bro. I'm finna uplift the nation and shift the culture, bro. Y'all ass out of order. For real. That's like, real shit, bro. Y'all believe like the deep. We, we pay for everything. The artists, y'all charging niggas for the beats, the artwork. We gotta send our money. But we the only nigga that could get got though. Everything else, the fast change ain't never been no around. You buy weed, you'll get your weed right then and there. If you buy clothes, you'll get your clothes, you'll get your shoes right then and there. Why the fuck I gotta send you some money and wait for you to do my artwork? You could just be gone with my money. Why I gotta spend money for this beat? But you could send a beat. You could just be gone with my money. The artists, y'all don't look at that shit, bro. That's why I respect the industry and none motherfuckers do. I come from authenticity, bro. Realness, bro. And we don't got that going on in the city. Everybody trying to get on. Niggas don't want to do a song with a nigga because they feel like if I do a song with this nigga, he going to get on. I'll put him on. But you would do a song with a nigga from Detroit, though. You would do a song with a nigga from... Cali though, we'll do the song from nigga from Arizona. We'll yeah. do the song from nigga from any city. Yeah. Come on, bro. That shit not real, bro. But I don't get no fuck, cause I don't really want to do no songs with niggas anyway. So what you what, what do you think the main reason is behind that, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, I know there's a lot of other, you know, cities, they on they they on their united shit to a certain extent. Like niggas that may not even fuck with each other. Like that, they'll get in the studio and they'll, you know what I'm saying, they'll drop songs together and they'll get money, bro. So why do you think the city of Chicago can't get that together? Because I'm going to say two things. The gang shit play a part. Niggas not finna do no song with no nigga that's from a whole nother set that's dissing niggas, dead niggas, ops, all that type of shit. Because it's going to seem like you fucking with buddy. But the other cities, they understand that two raw ass niggas together, two is better than one. Two niggas going crazy is better than one nigga going crazy. So a collab is always crazy. But you really in the city, the gang shit, bro. You really can't do no song with no niggas. It's gonna seem like you fucking with it. You say that's my man, and he dissing, woo woo, dead homies. It's gonna look like you condoning the shit. You with it. So it's like. Gang, that shit really fucked that thing up, bro. Yeah. I don't do no song with no anybody either. I know how you coming, you dissing niggas, hell no. Hey, you hear me now? That quarter, right? You know, bro, got to be a working life.
8.30, so go ahead and get it. at 8 if you want to grab it. I'll morning. get it. Uh, yeah. You're going to be at 8? Hell yeah, bro. All right, yeah. Man, that shit crazy, yeah, man. But shit, bro. That shit crazy, man. When it's, you know what I'm saying? You fucking with a nigga, bro, over the phone, then you link up and lock in with a nigga, bro. That's real shit, bro. Definitely, like, my nigga, I'm gonna say this too. Shout out to my nigga, SNTV, one of the realest niggas I done met, bro. He did a lot of real shit that I ain't even gonna speak on, bro. But just to pull up in the hood where we at, bro, in Inglewood, bro, bad as motherfucking self, Dolo. Niggas not doing that, nigga. The last nigga that did that, bro, was Zach TV. So, come on, man. You know how he finna, he finna turn up, bro. So y'all better get in tune before it be too late. He ain't, y'all ain't, he ain't gonna be reaching. Period. Real That's shit. Real shit, man. Real recognized, Fuck real. You know what I'm saying? Jump, bro. Real talk. But shit, one thing about one thing about my nigga Wild, my nigga was fucking with me when I was at fifteen thousand subscribers. Tell him so you think I ain't gonna fuck with him while I'm at a home? When I was fucking shit. with you. When I was at like 15,000 subscribers, you would have been yeah. fucking with me before that, yeah. but you had just heard about me and shit. You know what I'm saying? That nigga that's coming up like me. All y'all niggas that think y'all Hollywood, I don't want to do no song with y'all. I don't want to be in y'all video. I don't want to be in contact with y'all. Because nigga, everything we do is organic. Nigga, it's real, genuine. Nigga, we got everything y'all got. And I'm a, it's another thing I'm going to speak on. The difference between us and y'all rappers, y'all like them niggas, but we did everything we rap about. Me and bro, LMC Big Jack, you feel me? Coming, going crazy. We did everything we rapped about. Y'all like these niggas in other cities. I don't give a fuck whoever you think the hardest rapper, the most gangstest nigga, really not. They can't prove shit they seen. Check my background, check both them back. We did everything we talking about, and we really know how to rap. So how the fuck we not better than niggas? Even though I don't even compare myself to rappers. Don't compare me to none of y'all niggas. You feel me? Real but shit. low key, I'm really better than all y'all niggas. Real Ooh. shit. <laughs> I'll slap the shit out with me. <laughs> <laughs> Hold the phone. Hey, uh, it ain't any rappers, man, that, that influence you to get in the game, man, or that you look up to? I ain't gonna fly. That you wanna though. work with, gang? I know I've been talking my shit, though. I ain't gonna fly, though. My boy Kiss, the locks. Jay Z, hell yeah, nigga. I heard that motherfucker. Yeah. We are the streets. Yeah. Oh yeah, bro. Was putting that shit together. I'm like, nigga, I can rap. I heard that shit, nigga. That shit fucked me up. 99, 2000. I started writing, bro. It was over with. Yeah. Hell yeah, they influenced me. A nigga say ain't nobody influenced you, bro. You lying. All of us got something from somebody. Period. That's why you gotta pay homage, bro. And I'ma definitely pay homage. My nigga, Kiss, the Locks. My nigga Cassidy, Fab, Wayne, hell yeah, Wayne, hell yeah. Yeah. Shit. Yes, that a fucking tone for my motherfucking bro. I don't see you being that. My nigga love most. I know he ever walked the motherfucking truth. We finna really get in this shit. Get real active. I, mean, I ain't really been rapping because my real life comes before rap, bro. Like, I'm going through some real shit. My sister needs something, bro. I'm going to pay my sister rent, bro. If my niggas in jail, I'm going to pay that, bro. You see him? So it's like, that shit come before the music. A lot of you niggas be in I don't want fame that bad. That's why I fuck with the fuck fame shit. Like, that shit real. Niggas want cloud chasing. We ain't on that, bro. I give a fuck about being famous. That shit don't mean nothing to me. My real life come before music, bro. I can go do some other shit. I'm doing this shit for me and my people to get on and change the narrative. And we not promote no type of not nothing that we do. We ain't glorifying the lifestyle. We just really live this shit, bro. We really live the shit that y'all rapping and talking about. So it's like that shit really don't. And we don't let niggas know that shit really don't add up to nothing, though. Bro. I don't even really wanna. He on the street shit no more, bro. Like, I told him on defense. I'm tired of slapping niggas, beating niggas up, robbing niggas, shooting. All that shit, bro, don't add up to nothing. I really just want to rap, though, because I really know how to rap. Yeah, yeah that's real shit, bro. That's real shit. Rap. Leave me the fuck alone, bro. <laughs> niggas that's on Instagram, in my comments, in my DMs, calling my phone, texting me, bro. Leave me the fuck alone, bro. That shit ain't gonna get you wrong, that shit gonna get you hurt. Swear to God, you really know how a nigga coming, how a nigga live, I'll slap the shit out you. I grew up under them niggas, them real niggas. Niggas was really doing everything, nigga, that niggas talking about. Niggas really rich. 
really Inglewood legends, bro. The same way y'all look up to Jeff Ford, Larry Hoover, all them niggas, bro. Bro is them niggas in the hood. The same niggas. Y'all niggas be looking up to niggas y'all don't even fucking know, bro. I ain't gonna get into that, but y'all can do whatever y'all wanna do. But I'd rather, you feel me, praise a motherfucker that I really know. Y'all talking about niggas y'all never even fucking met. And y'all study put it on dead niggas. That shit clown is here. We don't got no dead niggas. We don't got no fucking dead homies. I don't even know what the fuck that mean. And on top of that, y'all putting it on motherfuckers y'all don't even know y'all merging it. Y'all naming blocks after niggas. That's some clown shit. How you name your block after five dead niggas? Three dead niggas. That ain't cool, bro. That's some clown shit. No block called of a nigga that's dead. That's some shit we don't know nothing about. My life. That shit clowned out, bro. I swear to God. Fool as hell. Yeah. Name y'all blocks out the dead niggas, bro. That's just showing how many niggas you got dead, bro. You think that shit cool? In my life, nigga, we been protecting our hood. Nigga, there's only, there ain't never been a lot of us, nigga. But the niggas that's around us, y'all know how we coming in. We grew up in a hood surrounded by niggas. We was only stones, nigga, in Inglewood on a block, nigga. That only stones in that bitch. So imagine if we never got moved, nigga. What the fuck that mean, nigga? I mean, that's them niggas. Surrounded by Period. Surrounded by nothing but opposition niggas and still in the same wood, bro. You think that shit don't mean nothing? Yeah. Knock it the fuck off. Ian niggas took that block. You feel me? And scattered out. All through that bitch. All in park, nigga. Niggas know. And we ain't finna even talk about nothing else. But do your history. Niggas fucking know. Real shit. Real shit. What you got before we get out of here, man? What you got to get to the shorties, man? The shorties that's no, out here. You know what I'm saying? I'm on no block at no motherfucking 12, 13, not even 14, bro. It's like niggas gotta, you feel me? Niggas gotta mold you. Y'all niggas just jumping out, putting niggas in 12, 13. That shit ain't cool. Niggas need to take their ass to school. Like, we in bought niggas uniform. Air Force Ones. Take your ass to school. You a freshman. Go to school, bro. This shit ain't for everybody, bro. You jumping in some shit thinking that this was for you. Then your ass get booked. You telling on a nigga, you facing 45 life, your ass gone for the rest of your life. I told on my brother, I used to give him Hell no. dollars for school. Go to school, niggas was getting niggas dollars, buying ice cream. And I grew up on niggas, we used to clean up the block, buying all the shirts, ice cream. Don't serve on this block. Go in the alley, go in the corner, like, protect your motherfucker, take care. Niggas not doing that, so it's like, hell no, nah, shorty. You could get the same shit that niggas got in these videos that niggas hustle okay, for. You can go to school and work for a nigga. Save your money. You can buy chains. You can buy all that shit. You can buy design. You can buy them belts. Stay in school. Who? You feel me? D Rose. You see what the fuck he did? If he made it, nigga, you can make it. You can make it. You feel me? Real That's shit. That's it, shit. shorty. Keep y'all motherfucking head up, bro. Like, this shit ain't for everybody, bro. This shit only gonna end one way. And I thought they ass was lying. The teachers did in jail. What else, bro? That's it.